Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's a pleasure having you once again on the set. This is Spotlight. My name is Njoroge Kaburo. And today on the set, we are joined by Member of County Assembly for Tebere Ward, Honorable Gadson Mushina, who is here to help us dichotomize on a few issues affecting our country. Welcome to the show. Karibu sana, Mwishinua. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Before we even kick off, uh, I would just give you maybe a minute to talk to residents of Tebere Ward, tell them what you've been up to back in the county assembly. Uh, thank you very much. One thing I would like to say is uh, uh, the systems now are set to go. Yes. We are four months old in the assembly mm -hmm. and uh, we have set the pace now. The supplementary budget has been approved. We have approved the appropriation bill. Yeah. So now the ball is on the governor's side now to roll out our projects. Mm -hmm. But I would like to assure my people of Tebere that uh, according to my plans, I would like to see, yeah. and especially one thing, mm -hmm. our town, which is Wanguru, mm -hmm. a more developed town yeah. in infrastructure, mm -hmm. in drainage systems, and also in the issue of the markets themselves, mm -hmm. the, the, the cleaning of the town, the, the markets. Yeah. But uh, as it now, the systems have been set and uh, even themselves, I know they are aware that the cleaning now is going on very well. Mm -hmm. We cannot complain. We also have now the projects that we are waiting for the, now the government to roll out. Yes. And uh, I want to assure them within these five years, we are going to see a tremendous change mm -hmm. in all the sectors, be it education, be it water, yeah. be it uh, infrastructure, all those sectors. We are going to make sure that... Uh, we cannot satisfy everyone, but yeah, yeah. we shall make sure that mm -hmm. we have done something that can be, can be seen, mm -hmm. something ca that is going to help our people, so starting believe, from Derua mm -hmm. up to Kiombo. All right. So you believe uh, from where you sit at the moment, uh, so far is so good? So far so good. Yes. No complaint. Okay. Now, when we met last, we had not had the president in place because we were still struggling with NASA and Jubilee, but we now have the president in place and he has been sworn in. And he has also uh, outlined the Big Four agenda plan to improve livelihoods of Kenyans. What is your general take about how Uhuru Kenyatta kicked off his work in office? Uh, one thing it took us by surprise, we never knew that the president can come up with a, a, a such a tremendous working plan yes. for this uh, last phase of his leadership. Mm -hmm. One thing I would like to say is that me, I support fully because the four pillars, they are the ones that touch the livelihoods of the common people in this, in this uh, country. Sure. So giving him an apple, uh, an apple uh, time and uh, space mm -hmm. to work on the big four, I'm double sure our president is going to deliver on those. Yeah. We have seen him work mm -hmm. for the la from the last term. Mm -hmm. We have seen what he is capable of doing yes. even now. Mm -hmm. I'm double sure mm -hmm. he is going to implement these four, uh, these four pillars, yeah. the big four, mm -hmm. and make sure that he leaves a legacy. Sure. It is his legacy term. Mm -hmm. He leaves a legacy. Mm -hmm. We have seen him working on infrastructure. Yeah. Very many roads now are being uh, done. Mm -hmm. We have seen him work on uh, the, the uh, SRG, yeah. the SGR, uh, SGR mm -hmm. sorry, yes, yes. SGR. Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, going to reach a... Uh, 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 we call it it's going Naivasa. to the second phase it is going mm -hmm. for the second phase yeah. and we we are anticipating that mm -hmm. he is going to make sure that the sgr leaches the border yeah. to uganda yes yes and of course the president has now a team in place there's a lineup that he came up with the the, the men and women who will help him implement uh, that program naming of the cabinet in general what was your reaction to that particular group uh, as a person, as a person, and also as a reader, me, I'm contented with what the president did. Yes. Because he has the mandate mm -hmm. and the prerogative yeah. to make sure he has a team mm -hmm. that he will be able to work with. We have seen him removing some uh, cabinet secretaries because he had worked with them for the last time yeah. and he has seen their performance. Mm -hmm. So... For him most, to, of, most of whom have also gotten other positions. Other positions, yes. maybe lighter duties. Uh -huh. Maybe lighter duties where they can perform. So that's maybe, what you believe? That's, that's what I believe. Uh -huh. that maybe they can perform more better okay. on those sides than where they are. Uh -huh. We have seen him retain uh -huh. those who have worked very well, like yeah. Matiangi. Sure. 
also uh, Amina. Yeah. Amina has been retained. Uh -huh. Amina has been very instrumental on the yeah. issues of the foreign affairs. Sure. And now she has been brought yeah. to education. Yeah. We, we are double sure that Amina is a, 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 a go-getter. Uh -huh. She's going to perform like Matiangi. Yes. So we, we appreciate whatever the president has done. Mm -hmm. Although everybody must look in the perspective that, oh, we were not given this, we were not given that. Mm -hmm. But we must all understand that we cannot be satisfied all of us. In Kenya, we have 47 counties. Yes. And if we have 47 counties, mm -hmm. we only have uh, 22 portfolios yeah. for the CSs. Mm -hmm. How can we get then 47? Mm -hmm. So, and that's why uh, I'm saying the president yeah. has the prerogative. Let us give him a chance. Mm -hmm. This is his legacy term. Let's wait and see. Mm -hmm. Now, so speaking of satisfying certain groups, yeah. uh, a group of women, uh, I mean, w women who are... Uh, actively involved who are actively involved in pushing for the rights of women are saying that the president once again just like in the previous cabinet did not meet the two-third gender rule don't you feel that like these women have a reason to grumble about they have a reason yeah everybody has a reason mm -hmm. to to think or see anything on his or her angle but there is one thing i would like to say yeah. the issue of gender rule in kenya mm -hmm. It is always controversial yes. because we have no system mm -hmm. on how this gender rule will be yeah. attained. Mm -hmm. So we must sit down, all of us, and come up with a policy yeah. that will make sure we have seen the, the, the bill taken to assembly and uh, to mm -hmm. parliament for the issues of gender. Mm -hmm. Then the, 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 the parliamentarians, uh, do, they don't pass it. Yeah. So we still have issues on the issue of gender. Mm -hmm. And more so to say, the issue of gender let it not be seen only on the perspective of women. This issue has been addressed very much on the issue of women. Yes. Such that mm -hmm. as we are talking now, the yeah. boy child is endangered. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying so is... So basically we are talking about the marginalized groups. The marginalized groups. Yes. But not the issue of, uh -huh. of uh, the, the, the gender uh -huh. alone or the women alone. Mm -hmm. So uh, women have the right to say so. But still, the president has the prerogative to look at the best people he can work with. You feel women are whining too much, they are complaining too much about lack of this? Uh, that's it, that's positions. it, that's it. Uh -huh. Women are complaining too much. Yes. And sincerely speaking, we have seen women going now into, into very many powerful seats. Uh -huh. We have seen them working. So the, the issue now, we are, we are not supposed to be talking of women now. We are supposed to be talking of? The boy, yes, child. the boy child. The boy child. Your take. Yeah. Now, let's narrow down and come back here. And as a leader of who represents the people of Kirinyaga, residents of Kirinyaga also went aflame in the social media. They stormed the social media saying that the president should change them because he had promised them some positions in cabinet when he was doing the campaigns. Yeah. From where you sit, do you feel like this is just, there are those who are saying that this is just petty politics? What is your position on this? Uh, everyone has a right to complain. You remember we also complained during the, the, the issue of the CECs of, of the county. Yes. Everybody has a, uh, has a right to complain, mm -hmm. but we must sit down and reason as leaders. We look at the big picture. Yeah. We don't just look on one angle. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true. We did not have, as Kirinyaga, we did not have any. A cabinet secretary job uh, position. Yes. But still, we have very many people who the president has retained. Mm -hmm. So, why should we complain? We have our Karaja Kibisho. Yes. Who is the, 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 who prince, is the principal, principal secretary? secretary mm -hmm. Interior. Yes. We have people like uh, Kinamaringa. We have other people who are in, in those big positions. Mm -hmm. We should be proud. Kirinyaga has been on the forefront. Yeah. And because now the president gave us the promise that he is going to look at Kirinyaga this time round. Yeah. Let us wait. Let us let us give him a chance. Mm -hmm. Let us not complain a lot on the issues of uh, the seats. Let's yes. wait for the development. Yes. Me, I'm double sure that the president, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm very uh, optimistic on this, that the president is going to work for us. We have seen the, the works of the dam. Yeah. It's uh, already coming to start. Mm -hmm. We have seen him come to launch it. He Which we'll talk about later on. Later on. But Personally, he has come for it. 
He this, has said infrastructure is going to improve. Yes. We have seen. Yeah. Let's wait. Uh -huh. Yeah. These men and women were very volatile on Facebook and on other social media platforms, saying that they were they chose or the Kirinyaga County was rated highest in terms of percentage. That's in correct. Support. So what you are basically saying is you're telling them to tone down. Yes, I'm telling them to tone down. Yes. Because one thing, we were not voting for positions. We were voting for a leader who will consider us in development. Yeah. And that's where we are. Yeah. And we are waiting to see. And because the president has promised, let's be calm and mm. wait and see. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta has also uh, established new positions, the county administrative secretary position, which has elicited mixed reactions from Kenyans. First of all, do you believe that these are anchored in the constitution? Uh, according to me, yeah. And uh, when the president was, uh, was announcing these yes. positions, yes. he clearly stated the law. Mm -hmm. And the law that has given him the mandate yeah. to do that. And it is the, at the prerogative of the president. If he is on the, on the side of the law, yeah. he has all the mandate to do what he feels is better for this nation. And if he sees that uh, the ministers are not working very well without this, this administration seat, why they're not constituted for the easier uh, implementation of of the projects or of the or, or, of the agenda in mm. each and every ministry the president has the prerogative so to me he is also creating jobs for mm. other people yeah because once we have uh, those uh, seeds mm -hmm. uh, we are diversifying in creation of opportunities yeah. although it might be looked at on the political angle mm -hmm. and uh, the perspective of the wage bill we must understand that Kenya, Kenya is rich. Yes. Kenya is not poor. Mm -hmm. What we need is good managers. Mm -hmm. And if we can get good managers, it doesn't matter the, the, the amount of money the government is using on the wage bill if managers are able to manage very well. And if the president has seen that that is the best way to go, let us wait and see. Now, now speaking of wage bill, Mwashimiwa, yes. the, the Wanjiko you represent, and I believe you represent quite a substantive number, is saying that they are the same people to bear the blunt. They are the ones who are going to bear this burden of, uh, you know, catering for the salaries of these new uh, public ofi officers. What is your take on that? There is a perception I would like to, to rule out that has been made by very many people, mm -hmm. that whenever a position is created, yes. they just look on, on the issue of that. The common monarchy is the one to, mm -hmm. to, to carry the burden. Yes. No, everybody in Kenya carries the burden. Mm -hmm. Because even that person, once he is employed on that seat, he will be, uh, uh, he will be paying tax also. Mm -hmm. And he pays even more tax than even the, 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 the person on the ground. Yeah. So, as long as we talk of uh, the issues of the common Mwanaichi yes. is carrying the burden. Everybody in Kenya is carrying the burden. Even the president himself mm -hmm. is, will carry the same burden because you have to pay tax. Everybody is uh, liable of paying tax. Yeah. And even if you go to the much higher side of it, mm -hmm. the, on the other side of it, these leaders are the ones who even pay more tax than the common you know, the common one, the there's common always this perception that they are the ones to dig deeper in their pockets. It is, a, cons uh, it is a, a perception that was created by many people to politicize on these issues. Mm -hmm. They don't give the reality because the reality is the common one, yes, will carry the burden yeah. by a very magnitude way of uh, the goods that, yeah. that uh, he is buying or she is buying. So you believe these positions are genuinely in place? If these positions are going to deliver, yeah. Why not have them? Okay. And if they don't deliver, mm -hmm. we abolish them. Yes. Like the way we have been saying, mm -hmm. there are more seats that need to be abolished in this constitution. Okay. Yes. Uh, well put. We are talking about the president of Kenya, the, the, the pres president of the Republic of Kenya, rather. Yeah. Recently, we, in the course of the week, we also heard about the people's president, who was also sworn in in the course of the week. I want us to go on a short break. You hold on to that, though, then we come back. <laughs> I'm also a president in my own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mweshimiwa. That is Mweshimiwa Gatson Mushina of Tebere Ward. We are discussing the issues affecting our country at the moment. And this is Spotlight. We'll be right back after we pay our bills.
and welcome back to Spotlight. Today we are having MCA Gadson Mushina, who is representing the member of uh, uh, members of Tebere Ward, and we are talking about several issues that are facing our country at the moment. Mushimiwa, yes. President Uhuru Kenyatta is trying to exempt, or in the list that he submitted to Parliament, he is exempting some of the CSAs from Parliament vetting. How do you read this? Because some people are seeing some mischief in the whole process. Uh, one thing to me, uh, I would not comment more on that, but what I think is, mm -hmm. somebody like, let's take for instance somebody like Matiangi. Yeah. Matiangi was vetted mm -hmm. and was seen fit yeah. for the job. And he was given the position of the CS education. Mm -hmm. He performed very well. He also was given a, a, another docket of security. Mm -hmm. And he performed both very well. How do you vet such a person again? Someone would argue this is a new cabinet with a, a whole new list which needs to be vetted afresh. But a new cabinet mm -hmm. means new people who are coming in. Mm -hmm. So me, I support that. Uh, the, 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 the issue of the president saying some should be exempted. Yeah. Which is okay, mm -hmm. because remember, uh, somebody may kick off, kick out Matiangi mm -hmm. on the perspective of his aggressiveness. Ama pengine alimukanyanga mahali. Yes. Sunaona. So pengine anaweza fikiria, this is the time to revenge. Yes. And uh, pengine whatever Matiangi was doing, he did it because of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, recently, Mweshimiwa, members of county assembly went to, moved to court to oppose uh, the SRC proposals to cut down the, the, the members of county assembly salaries. How did this play out, given that you represent the members of Tebere? Speaking from that perspective, what, what is your take? Uh, my take is, as long as I represent the people of Tebere, I should not be treated like somebody who is not representing the people. Uh -huh. That's the truth. What we did as assemblies, yeah. all members of county assemblies, we did the same way as the MPs did. Why should the MPs go to court alone mm -hmm. and leave the MCS? Yeah. One thing the constitution is very clear, that the powers and privileges that are bestowed on the uh, national assembly mm -hmm. are also bestowed on the county assembly. Sure. So. According to the constitution, it's only that we are a, a, an assembly that is below, mm -hmm. and they are in the, uh, uh, the national assembly. We are all equal. Yeah. Secondly, it is very important to remunerate mm -hmm. somebody who is working for the people yeah. in the right manner. Mm -hmm. And in the history of the labor laws, there is no where somebody was removed from a certain salary level and dropped. That is against the law. It so, could have re been retained mm -hmm. all handed. There is nowhere mm -hmm. a salary should go down. You feel to SRC the was totally wrong on this? Yes. Okay. He, he was, she was totally misadvised on that. Okay. And we wonder where they got all this information that they, they were implementing. Yeah. And remember what they did, they had a mischief mm -hmm. because they, they did not wait until another assembly enters so that they can... They, they can negotiate on the same. Mm -hmm. What they did, walichukua hiyo time wakati watu waliingia kwa siyasa. They went, they gazetted. Mm -hmm. In fact, that thing is against the law, the gazettement, mm -hmm. because it was not even subjected to the stakeholders. Yeah. Let us address a different issue altogether because of time. Yes. Uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta visited Kirinyaga County together with, with his deputy and launched the, multi, the multi-billion uh, Diba Dam project, which is expected to double production of rice, rice. in Moya, where, yes. you, where, where you come from. Yeah. What is the progress of this project? Because many people are not so sure about the progress. Up to this minute, yes. we saw the, the uh, peers who came on the ground, yeah. and the preparations are on, ongoing now for the project to kickstart, yes. as the peers said, mm -hmm. on March. Yeah. And we are eagerly waiting for that. We know that uh, the concerned, uh, the concerned uh, contractor has been on the site and trying to uh, keep things right but uh, he has not yet started clearing yeah. but we are waiting for the time that they are said that by March 
they will have started. Mm -hmm. And we are very much optimistic that the dam will be completed within the timeline yeah. that the president said. Mm -hmm. Because this is a legacy term. Sure. And uh, the president said he would be very happy if the, the project takes only three years mm -hmm. because it has been uh, programmed for five years for, uh, to completion. So we are anticipating that uh, the project is going to start yeah. and we are going to benefit very much from it. Okay, still in Moya, there's one business which has really taken shape, the business of hay. I happened to visit some of uh, the, the traders of that commodity and they are saying that the government is trying to sort of muzzle them by burning the commodity, saying it is interfering with the environment. What is your sentiment? So have you heard about this and what is your... No, that one I have not heard about it. Yes. Because hay, Sinichakula yeah. Yangombe, and it has been uh, there in, even before. Mm -hmm. How does it become an environmental uh, issue? These are our people who are doing business. Yes. And uh, first of all, I thank our business, very, uh, our people very much because they are very creative. Mm -hmm. There before we used to, to burn mm -hmm. the, the hay yeah. in our shambas. But today it is being used as an income generating activity yeah. and also as food for our animals. Mm -hmm. So I have not heard of that okay. of late. Okay. Let's talk about, we've analyzed and talked about issues surrounding the President of the Republic of Kenya. Yes. We recently had a new title, the People's President, who was sworn in in the course of the week. <laughs> First of well, all, what is your thought about <laughs> this title, the People's President? First of all, let me first thank the government very much because of the action and the wise decision they took during that uh, event of uh, uh, mock swearing in, because it's a mock uh -huh. swearing in. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> it could have been very wrong if the government interfered because they could have seen an, a, a scapegoat. Yeah. But now they are done. Mm -hmm. They have been beaten 10-0 yeah. because that's not what they expected. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you one thing. We have very many presidents in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I'm an Agrican. We have the president of Mother's Union, yes. who is the bishop's wife. Mm -hmm. We have our schools, in our schools. We yeah. have the children government. Within the student fraternity. Within, within the There's children the fraternity. There yes. is a president. Uh -huh. Also, I'm a president of my home. Yes. Everybody can be a president of... Everywhere he is. Yes. So you are really right. downplaying this and saying Yes, uh, Raida can be president of those people who are on that, uh, or that, that, that party yes. or that organization that was in uh, Uhuru Park. Yes. That is his organization. He's a their president. A few hours after, after swearing in, we saw Right Honorable Raila Odinga changing his bio in the social media platform from, from the former prime minister to the president of the Republic of Kenya. Do you feel this probably has some legal implications? Yeah, that one now, that one now entails for legal action uh -huh. because you cannot proclaim yourself to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. We yeah. have only one mm -hmm. president of the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. and we saw him lad from Ethiopia yeah. in style mm -hmm. because he's the president of Kenya. Yes. We don't have any other president. That mm -hmm. one uh, if Raida does that, uh -huh. let him be ready to face the music. Now, speaking of the, because people's, the, is very clear. The, the people's president versus the president of the Republic of Kenya, one of the, I mean, the, the core principles of the people's uh, president of Kenya, Mr. Raila Odinga, were absent from the swearing in. Vividly was uh, absent was Mr. Kalonzo Musioka, who was supposed also to be sworn in. How do you treat such uh, a scenario? Me, I'm treating the scenario as uh, the, the three guys are very wise guys. Yes. They have the wisdom. Yeah. And I say thumbs up to them. Because they knew this country has a law, has a constitution. Yes. And if you go against the constitution, mm -hmm. there is the music you are going to face. Mm -hmm. Same case, I heard Kalozo say that uh, his security was with the drone. Sure, it was. By who? Mm -hmm. If he has a, uh, they have their own government. They should have their own security. Mm -hmm. Why should you then want security yes. from the same government that you are saying there is no government? So they should have their, 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 their own treasury, their own cabinet. Yes, their own... Let, let them have theirs. Yes. Why should you complain? Uh -huh. or, or, why should you cry for the government yeah. that you are saying it is an illegitimate government? Uh -huh. Then uh, you are confirming that the government is the government. Mm -hmm. That's why you need the government to give you security. 
So that was uh, that was not a, a, an issue yes. that could have, uh, if he was sure that uh, he was supposed to go and swear, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, we saw right ago. Now, maybe from, from uh, that kind of a reaction from these core principles, do you feel like this is the writing on the wall that Raila Odinga has been left at home? Kabisa, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And if, he, if Raila is wise, yeah. he should know his time is gone. Because if you can be betrayed by your own people, yeah. Wale ulikuwa unasema ni watu yako yako mm -hmm. na wamekuachilia wakati unawahitaji zaidi. An Englishman said, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Sure. So it's a writing on the wall mm -hmm. and the writer should know that. And the best advice I can give, huyo mzee sababu ni mzee yetu, yes. ni baba yetu and we, we respect him sure. a lot. Sure. We respect writer a lot. Let him retire now comfortably in mm -hmm. politics. Wacha sasa aende atuze uh, to show show, watch and they are kind of money quake, a to lie a channel and a mambo. I see, can really heed such an advice because he seems so committed to becoming the president of Kenya, hell bent, whichever means. But now he has tried many ways, but they are not succeeding. The best thing is to accept now my advice to him. Okay, give him a guy had gone to court to court prior to the swearing in saying or certify a matter of illegalizing the whole uh, swearing in uh, before, the, before the court of law. Could this now be treated as treason? It might be, according to the law. Mm -hmm. It might be. So you might you, be you even for, hand You mm -hmm. even hand yes. the CS mm -hmm. outlawed the NRM. Yeah. Like any other, but, uh, any other organization that were outlawed. Yes. That is a clear indication that we are heading now on the low side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about something also of, of interest that happened during the swearing in. The switching off of the three major TV stations for covering the swearing in uh, a ceremony. What is your take up about this? Because they are saying that that is a way of gagging the media. Nobody is gagging the media. And media is free to do its work in Kenya, but there are limitations. You remember 2007, 2008, yes. post-election post, uh, violence, mm -hmm. how it occurred. Yeah. It is through the media. Because of highlighting some issues, the fire went on and burned the, uh, almost the whole country. It was a wise decision. Because now the tempers are down, the media will go back to their work. Yeah. I, and I'm sure of that. But let also the media know that we have a government. And we have laws in Kenya. And even if we have what we call, uh, we call uh, the Bill of Rights, it has also limitations. Yeah. I think you should not, if you people or the media itself, they are working in this nation. When this nation, uh, this nation goes into fire, where will these people get their salaries from? Of course, you all belong to... to we all belong people. here. Yeah. So we should be also be careful of everything and whatever we are airing. Mm -hmm. So the decision of the government, yeah. it was a wise decision mm -hmm. to make sure that the other, uh, uh, you know, that uh, it, uh, some things might cause incitement. Mm -hmm. When people see what is happening, the other areas, they, 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 they tend to do other things. Yeah. So it was a wise decision. The country is calm. From some respect, we would say that, or some would argue that switching off the, the media houses, I mean, the, the, the television stations, could not stop the swearing in from happening. Yes. And also the Editors Guild had met with, uh, with the team from the State House, and a stern warning was issued prior to that uh, particular swearing in concerning the, 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 the coverage, the full coverage of the, of, of the event. Don't you see some some uh, some bad laws being implemented in, in such in such respect we cannot call them the bad laws yeah. because joroge you have a home and you are the father sure and whenever you see anything that can bring anything that is not good for your people yeah you have to rethink on how to handle that issue so the government is our father yes in kenya even the media even us, everybody is yeah. under the government. Yes. And if the government sees this thing might cause a lot of harm to our nation, yeah. they have the mandate. And that's why they are the ones who possess the key 
or the switch. Mm -hmm. And that's why they could be able to switch off. Yes. So we are all under one father. Mm -hmm. And when the father says, this is not the way, you are supposed to follow and ask why later. Yes. Maybe you should leave that to the experts. Yes. Now, Mweshimiwa, with the swearing in of uh, Raila Odinga, because I want us to, to conclude and have the bottom line. What is next for this country as we wind up? Your, 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 your last parting shot. What is next for this country? Uh, I'm foreseeing a very peaceful country and a, a very prosperous country. Because now, one thing, let me tell you, politically, uh, the country, the political status in the, in the country is toning down now. Yes. People are busy now. You, you could see even from the, the, the day the, the swearing was being done. Yes. Everybody was busy. Mm -hmm. It's only that all, only those people who are concerned with the swearing who went. The, the political situation is coming down. People now are getting back to their businesses. And uh, we are anticipating that uh, even the economy will raise. You know, we have experienced a lot of hardships yeah. because of the political tensions mm -hmm. from January last year up to December, the whole sure. year. Yeah. We have seen the shelling mm -hmm. dis being destabilized. Yeah. We have seen businesses going down. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is my hope that now that the country now is settling, we are going to move forward. Thank you. We Welcome. move forward as a country. Yeah. And I wish you all the best, Moshimiwa. Thank you, too. Many thanks for keep, uh, having time for us. Welcome. We thank you for your time. We come to the end of the show. Till next time, it's a goodbye. God bless you. My name is Joroge Kaburo.